let's shift off of the 207010 and go to the next step. It's a full force rank. One through 10, one through 12, one through 13, however many direct reports you have. Don't skip, go one, two, three, four, five. Go in order. And I want you to select who's number one because they're the person that you would keep in a draft if you had to choose only one person and they weren't available to be picked up by anybody else. And after that person's off the board, pick the next person that you would keep and protect no matter what until you're down to your final person that you would protect. This is important. It's not about competencies. It's not about skills. It's not about results. It's about what this individual does for you on your team, the, the degree of value they have. You know, there's going to be some sports general managers that will keep somebody in the minor leagues on a team before they uh, let go of somebody else, right? And they're going to let go of somebody else who may be performing better today, but they've got to protect this individual. So when you go through your force rank, it is about those that you value most on your team that ultimately, over the long haul, will help you drive sustainable results. And once you do that, pick me up on another video and I'll explain some more. Let's get up and go.